Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. Here, White Lane Moore. Congratulations. I am delighted to inform you that the University of Missouri Committee on Admissions has accepted you into the class of 2022. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that your essay was among the most inspiring we've seen all year. <laughs> your dad gonna screw it up. You can wait a year. What? Why? I can't. I can't leave three. The room will be fine. I'll take care of him. I don't know, Ruth. What's not to know? This is this is uh, everything you've been uh, working no, I, for. What? I just feel stuck. Okay. Okay, so get the fuck unstuck. <laughs> I need to understand what happened to my dad. Okay, was it an accident? Was he murdered? I and mean, what the fuck happened? We're beat, darling. We were beat the second we flooded that land. Land now owned by. U.S. government. The second you flooded that land, I told you we should never have shaken hands with those Mexicans. And you were right. You were right. But right now, they don't need us alive for their casino. So the only thing keeping us that way is my promise that we'll stand down. Till no one's looking. <coughs> Then they'll go ahead and kill us anyway. No, darling. They just want to keep us smiling and happy and stupid until their casino comes through. You don't know that. It's what I do. Somebody get ready to die. Well, I swear, darling, if you ever even think to undermine me again. What? What the fuck happens if I undermine you? Don't push me, darling. It will not end well for you. I wanted to apologize for my reaction. Why do you say I don't go see her? Mm -hmm. And offer a little context. Um, I'm sure that Charlotte has mentioned to you our, our move from Chicago. And she's taken it harder than my husband and I could have ever anticipated. Don't say nothing! I'm sure you understand how difficult it is to... To watch a, a bright, promising child struggle, and even how more difficult it is to admit that you don't always know how to respond to that. So, I'm genuinely sorry for my reaction yesterday. She is terrified of the person she'll become if she has to stay in that house. It is clear to me that she's responding to something extremely troubling at home. I can't reveal any more of the specifics. And I hope I never have to. Mm. Because you and your husband signed those papers without a fight. Mm. So you didn't know that? You know, the kind of people who do the troubling things you think we're doing are the kind of people who will do anything to protect their children. Judges don't look kindly on people who threaten lawyers. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying I'll do anything to protect my daughter. And I know she's safest at home with her family. You over here pulling strings, watching people's mouths flap. Hey, tell me, once the casino's open, how long before you try to take us out again? You won't be touched. I gave your husband my word. <laughs> What's that worth? You know you'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Mmm. What do I catch with tar? Excuse me. I think what you're doing is wrong. How do you think this ends? Happily ever after? No, they're getting the casino approved. That was the plan. We're bad guys. I mean, we're criminals. You see that, don't you? It, you almost killed someone, and Mom asked you to do it, and you're not even freaked out about it? That just freaks me out. <sighs> yeah, we didn't have to tell that lawyer about the affair. Okay. Do you think that Wilkes will be able to sway the undecideds? Honestly, I think he's still figuring out if he's going to save his own ass or take us to know him. 
Darlene, come and say something. One more word. She's staying in line. <laughs> Why don't you just worry about your own business? I am. But if you don't keep up your end of the bargain, I can't keep up mine. Mr. and Mrs. Bird. Commissioner Hodges. I must say you made quite the impression. The fact that you succeeded in overturning the casino cap in the first place, well, that in and of itself is an accomplishment. Well, obviously from our end, we'd, we'd hate to think that we left the cap in vain. <laughs> I believe in being direct. Please do. I believe I could assuage the other commissioner's fears if I had certain assurances. What's your relationship with Frank Cosgrove? Uh, his, his company's going to be involved in some okay, of the construction. Because there's obviously concerns about organized crime infiltrating the gaming industry. Commissioner, I can promise you that he is not going to be involved with the business outside uh. of the initial construction. Maybe I'm going to put that in writing. Keeping Missouri a right to work state is a priority for me. Please be direct. The casino can't be a union shop. Under any circumstances. Wow. Um, That's the wink. Mm -hmm. Then it won't be. Yeah, my work. Now you gotta go back to the KC people. Did we just betray the Kansas City Mafia? Who's smoking in the house? Charlotte? What the hell do you know? What? You want a hit? Sure. Put that out! Right. Why should I even pretend to not break the law when no one else does? You know Wendy here threatened my lawyer today? That is not what oh, happened. That's what she told me. Yes, I went to her because I wanted to understand why you were so upset. You went to her? Something no, fucking I, I mystery? Said I said that I would do anything in the world for you because I loved you. Now clearly, she has taken that, she's twisted it and made it sound like some sort of a threat. Because you know what, Charlotte? Lawyers are dishonest. You know who's dishonest? Drug lords. Okay, let's all just calm down for a second, okay? Why? So you can emotionally blackmail me with this bullshit about how you're trying so hard to fix this? Do not disrespect your father. He's not my father, and you're not my mother. Charlotte! And as far as I'm concerned, the two of you can both dissolve in a fucking vat of acid. <gasps> wow. Get out. Fine. You want to emancipate? Fine. You emancipate. She's getting all those mm -hmm. stuff. You want to go, Charlotte? Go! You be my guest! Just go! Oh, don't go in there now. Mm -hmm. Why did you talk to her lawyer? I told you that would make things worse, didn't I? Somebody had to do something. Can't just cross our fingers and wish it away. I did do something. I talked to her. Oh, well, clearly it did a whole lot of good. Because you undermined me, Wendy. Why are you taking her side? Because she's right. We're not fit to be parents. It's not even a family. It's a goddamn group of criminals. Sorry to bother you so late. I can't find Charlotte. She left in her van with Wyatt. Van? What van? The one she bought. With her own money. Do you know where they went? All I know is that they're not here. Oh, Lord. She got weapons. What got were you and the lawyer whispering about at that party? She about to die. Yeah, I don't just know. small talk. Very nice. One of them are. I guarantee you that. Figured we might go for a walk before breakfast. And what I said right? was one of my things at the beginning. Workers start building that road today. Don't you think we ought to seal that one last time? Wonder how it's still unspoiled. Don't drink that! <laughs> it's gonna be a double homicide. War the roses. Wow, yep. Yeah. You think you're gonna really say something? Yep. Yeah. Hello? Any fuck ups, the commission's gonna grant your license in 48 hours. Oh, I don't know how the fuck you do it, but you always manage to get what you want, don't you? That might not be a good idea. You might end up killing him. 
Oh yeah. We'll see. Betty, you that fat, ain't you? I want to talk to you about Marty Bird. Dude, my heart beating so fast because I don't know what's about to happen. She drugged him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to take over the whole operation. The second the casino is approved, I'm getting my family out of here. That's Ruth. Mm -hmm. And if you can run things by yourself, we'll be long gone before the cartel knows we've left. With me out of the picture, you'll have no choice but to hand everything to you. But if this is going to work, no one can know. Not the kids, not Wendy. Hey, why you do that? stuff so much always so much stuff i'm gonna hit a couple of topics and then i'm just gonna call it a day so we can continue right. <laughs> charlotte got on my daggone Dag nerves on and that's gonna listen i think i cussed in my head about five times and i think i choked her out completely to <laughs> unconsciousness at least three <laughs> at least three times uh ruth's daddy i pretty much um i told you he deserved to die choked him out told you. completely Every time he stepped to uh, Ruth with, you know, all in her face. Um, they didn't show Rachel at all. She's still recovering, okay? So she may have already taken the ticket and went on. Mm -hmm. So um, Blue Cat was not an issue in this one. So we realized that, listen, the snails are not dead. We thought they were shot up. Like, like completely gone. Like, like gone. Mm -hmm. So nobody else was hit but him? That's crazy. Out of all that gunfire? Right. Both so ways. So I'm just thinking. Both ways. You know, I wasn't trying to be funny when I said I felt like it was a Tupac thing because they said Tupac got shot. Well, Shug or got Shug shot. Got shot. He, he, he got grazed, he got in, grazed the in the head. That big old head. He didn't get hit. <laughs> he didn't get shot in the head. He got grazed. And everybody know what grazing means. It means that it didn't touch it. It was just a fire from the bullet. <laughs> For real. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. If you don't get no shrap shrapnel in you, that's it. But anyway, so they survived, but he was the only one that got shot. She and she stitched him back up. So the conversations that were going on after he had come back and he had recovered were was basically the Mexicans have come after us and we don't want the Mexicans to get us again. <laughs> So he went to, um, they had a meeting with the lawyer, Marty and Wendy, uh, discussing, you know, going forward. And then he was like, I have nothing to do with what happened. He said, I can't guarantee anything else. This is what Marty was saying to the lawyer. We got to get this casino going. Y'all jacking it up by doing what you did with Snail. And she was like, well, what's going to go on with or without them? And he was like, you just messed up some money though. Because now, after he went back to, he went to the snail's house, he couldn't get in because Darlene said uh, Marty couldn't talk to uh, Jacob. Mm -hmm. So she was basically stopping them from proceeding on to uh, building the casino on their land, on their land. Well, Marty goes and digs a little deeper. They are, um, they, these freaking geniuses. <laughs> From mm -hmm. Jonah 
to Wendy, to Martin. Now, Charlotte, I, you know what? I beg the difference about her intelligence. She is intelligent. She just hasn't applied it yet because she's smoking all this daggone weed. She may have to I'm give sorry. that up. She got nerve. We sitting there like she the big dog smoking weed in my house. First of all. What? First of all, you rolling joints in your in the house that your mom and dad stay in? You rolling joints? Okay. You can't even roll nothing in the house where my mama was. You can't do jack. You couldn't even have a closed door. Right. <laughs> Let alone slam the door. She aggravated me. She made Jonah mad too. Jonah was, was pissed. Mad. It was all about undermining too because Wendy undermined Marty and went and talked to the lawyer and Darlene undermined uh, Jacob. Jacob. Over and over again. Over and over again. The beginning was awesome though because mm -hmm. it showed how they were introduced. Mm -hmm. or... She got that $10 from him <laughs> and they went skinny dipping. Mm. She killed him though. He wasn't coming back from that. I knew somebody was getting ready to die. Well, he wanted her. He wanted to be her, but he felt that he took the knife out of his pocket. But I'm still thinking that will he have enough strength to at least get her in a jugular, or did he take his last breath just now? No, he took his last breath. But he took. He decided he wanted to take the long way in the walk, and now his body out there. They found the badger, which was the name of this one episode. This episode, they found the badger, and he said, "What the badgers will do, their family, the family of the badgers will come and get." The, the body of this one, take it back to their house, take the body apart, but it'll, nutri it'll be nutrients for the ground. And he was like, let, let the badger's death be nutrients for the survival of their family or something like that. It was something like that. I don't think he said it like that, but it was something significant to what is getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, Marty found out that the land... That when they flooded it, the land underneath <laughs> belonged to the government. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that when you flood stuff and you take over the land, whatever land is on the bottom, that was supposed to have been the, the, the United States land. And that meant that they could over they can overrun everything that the snail was trying to do as far as keeping their land. All of it is not theirs. They have ways about it. So they're going to get this casino built. And then on the political side, they said it was something else. that You can't be associated with union. So now they've undermined the KC Mafia. Mob. So now Marty's going to have to make some connections with them. This show is crazy. Buddy is not there to... Uh, smooth stuff To over. smooth, you know, to be... The end, the end, yeah. yeah. I Marty plans to give everything to Ruth. Uh, why I got accepted into college, but he's off with Charlotte. Freaking Cade is talking to Detective Petty. Who Cade is talking oh. to yeah. her, Ruth's dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so. Let us know what you guys thought of that episode. This next episode is going to be a doozy season finale. I don't like the way you transition right into that. You were just like, yeah. All right, well, let us know. It's because there's a lot going on. I'm trying to brace myself because this next episode has got to be crazy. It's got to be crazy. crazy enough as it is. Man, it's got to be Oh, crazy. the lawyer was trying to like, uh, the lawyer was like, um, Helen. She kept saying, her name is Helen. And you remember all yeah, the time yeah, I was calling yeah, yeah. I was calling Wendy Helen, and they was like, "It's mm -hmm. funny that you would call her Helen." And then I was like, "Oh, wow, that's mm -hmm. what they meant." So Helen was like, "Are you keeping her in check?" Meaning Darlene. Uh, as much as I can, basically. No, now you're dead, and now Helen knows that she did it. Mm -hmm. She came and talked to a real slick like. Talking about sugar and vinegar attracting flies. Mm -hmm. She said, what can I attract with tar? I can't wear her. Mm -hmm. But she's been like this the whole her whole life. Mm -hmm. Like a daredevil. Like, you know, adrenaline rushy. Right. Adrenaline junkie. Mm -hmm. I said rushy. All right, go ahead, baby. Close out. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wake up.
Thank you.